Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, in this particular video, I will be discussing the latest Cognitant SQL queries. So guys, the currently the Cognitant exams are going on and many of you have your exam in the coming week. First of all, please write in the comment section that when you have your technical exam of Cognitant. In this particular video, I will be discussing four SQL queries which will be very important for you because the same queries might repeat in your exam or a similar question, similar type of question can come in your exam. So do not skip any part of this video because in this video I will also be discussing that how can you prepare for different different sections of Cognizant from which material you can refer. So guys let's move ahead but before moving ahead make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because every like and subscribe will motivate me to, for making more such videos. I have a dedicated playlist of Cognizant 2025 preparation. In this particular playlist you will find the interview experiences of different different profiles as well as more SQL questions, aptitude questions and coding questions also you will find in this particular playlist. The links of this playlist I will give you in the i button or in the description box. And guys do join this channel group it is dedicated for 2025 batch students wherein all the companies discussion which are hiring for 2025 batch are happening. So now let's start this video. Okay so guys the first schema is if you will look carefully you will find that there are three tables that are interconnected with each other. One is a train details table. One is a train type table, another one is a train station table. Okay, and they are connected via primary key and foreign key constraints. Now, first let's just see what is the question that is that is getting asked. All the details of all trains that run from or go to a station that has a space in its name. We have to write a query to find the all the details of train that run from or go to a station that has a space in its name. Okay. Now what are the things, what are the output parameters first of all, what are the output columns, these are the output columns, okay, these seven are the output columns. If you will look carefully here, you will see that all these seven parameters or seven columns belong to a single table only that is this train details table. You can see here train ID, train name, train type, train time, train from, train to and train speed. All the uh, parameters are in a single table only, but what? on which condition you need to find the particular details. All details of all trains that run from, from or go to a station that has a space in its name. It means starting station or ending station should have a space in its name. Those trains details you need to find. Now where is the station name? Because we need to find the station name. Okay, space in the station name. So you will see here that train station is a table in which station name is there. So we need to find all the details from this table who has station name whether it is a starting station or it is an ending station name it contain it should contain a space. So what does this tell you? This tell you that you need to join these two uh, these two particular tables train details table and train station table. Now if when we are joining the tables on which particular on which particular condition we join it we join based on the primary key and foreign key. So this train from and the station ID, this is the foreign key, okay, here is the foreign key, here is the primary key. Then again train to and station ID, again this is also foreign key. So based on this condition, we will be joining the table. Either the starting station or the ending station should have the space in it. For those, uh, for that condition we need to find the details of all tables. So now we are clear that these two tables need to be joined. Now let's just see the query directly. So I will explain the query line by line. Select all the name of the columns that you need to find. So these are just select all the column from from which table. Two tables I have told you that should join. One is a train details table and another is the train station table. So train details table, train stations table. So these two tables need to be joined. So this is the syntax for joining these two tables, the second line. Next is the condition condition on which um, these two tables should join. These two tables should join on the primary key constraint. Okay. First of all x dot train from equivalent to y dot station id. x is the uh, name of the first table, y is the name of the second table or x dot train to equivalent to y dot station id because we need to find the space in a station name either it can be a starting station or it can be an ending station. Therefore we have used the where clause on both of these columns. Okay. On both of these columns. And there is one more condition. Once we have joined this table, once we have gotten all the details of the table, we need to find those 
details only where the station name should contain space so if you know percentage means any number of characters can be before of percent uh, before of space if i am doing percentage a percentage it means there can be n number of characters before a and there can be n number of characters after a so if i am doing percentage space percentage it means it means i am finding that particular name which contains space in it simple like that so these are two conditions very which are very useful starting station id should be uh, equal to the station id and the ending station id should also be equal to the station id one condition is this and second condition is that the station name should contain space in it and we need to and this particular query will give us the result for that i hope this particular query is clear to you do write in the comment section if any doubt you have now moving towards the next query on the similar schema we have the second query now okay so guys before moving ahead i would like you to know that on our top mid page of code bashers we have cognizant exam preparation material so if you want to practice from the previously asked questions in cognizant which were actually there in the exam then this particular material is definitely for you in this particular material we have covered all the sections which are asked in the cognizant exam whether you are doing giving exam for any cluster whether it is python cluster java cluster or c hash cluster so you can see here we have covered aptitude questions previously asked okay 150 150 questions and these are actual questions with proper question proper options and the answer we have covered all the sections of technical assessment whether it is ui based html css whether it is sql questions and queries whether it is coding questions python mcqs cloud mcqs which are asked in python cluster and uh, c hash cluster respectively c hash mcqs which are very commonly asked okay these are all the actual questions and practice questions which have been previously asked in the cognizant exams only and this material is updated for april batch as well so lot of exams happened in april also so we have added all the questions here so if you will see the sample of sql queries you will find we have a proper question given we have the proper schema given and then we have the sql query also that is given to you similarly if you will see the coding questions we have a proper question proper proper description input output format and proper coding question is given to you okay so if you are interested and you want to prepare for your exam uh, previously asked questions for your exam then this material you can check out the links are in the description box okay so now let's continue the video second query is write the query to find all train name type description station name first of all see from the tables on which particular uh, tables this information lies train name type description station name so see train name in, is in this table type description is in the second table and st uh, station name is in the third table so uh, what we need to do to find the all the details we will need to join all these three tables okay we need to join all these three tables and on which column does the join happens it happens on the primary key and foreign key column so this train details table will be joined to train type table on the train type column similarly train details table will be joined to train station uh, column uh, table on station id column okay where we, this is the primary key so the query will be to join all the three tables and then finding the result so select train name type description station name from now from all the three tables will be joined like this on which columns i have told you the primary key column of each table reference to the foreign key column of this of another table so it means station id will be referenced from train from table and train type here primary key will be referenced to train type column of this table so the third line if you will see carefully x dot train type equal to y dot train type and x dot start from type equal to y dot station id because we need to find the start station name so first of all you will need to see that which table contain which column information and if uh, and based on that you will do join and join will only happen based on the relation between primary key and foreign key comes primary key and foreign key okay this is the end query and it will give you the correct result i hope these two queries and questions are clear to you now let's move towards the second schema and two queries based on that schema okay so guys the next schema is the college management system so you will see here we have different different tables now i have told you that uh, first read the question then decide which tables to join okay either join is required or not either a single table can answer or not okay 
so just focus on first thing and if a join is required then do join based on the primary key foreign key relationship and then you can find the answer the question here is display student names subject name and the marks they obtained so first of all let's see which all tables are required student name so if you'll see student name is coming from the student table next is subject name subject name is coming from this subject table and the marks the marks is coming from this mark table so you need to find all the students having uh, for all the subjects the marks that particular student has obtained okay so now these three tables are there so it means we need to join these three tables how we will join it because we need foreign key and primary key relationship between those tables to join so student and marks can be joined via this student id column okay because it is common then subject and mark can also be joined via this subject id column because that is common so we will simply uh, join these table based on these ids and we can simply print out these names it is that simple so see the query here so we are joining three tables okay earlier in the first schema i have told you the cartesian product now i am telling you the join okay the join that is used uh, join keyword so these three ta uh, tables are getting joined so mark is joined from the student table on the column m dot student id and st dot student id because these two are common and then that table is joined with the subject table based on the subject id column because that is common and we need to find all these three values student name subject name and value as marks so this is the entire query that you can run and it will be giving you the correct result okay i hope this is clear to you now let's move to the towards the next question okay so guys again i would like to remind you that if you want to practice previously asked actual cognizant exam questions then you can check out this cognizant exam preparation material on our top mid page of code bashers i will give you the link in the description description box also wherein all the such sections which come in the cognizant exam for all the clusters are covered and all the actual questions with their answers are present in this particular material as i have shown you earlier also the sample again i am showing you we have the proper question the schema for sql queries and the uh, correct query as well similar for the coding question we have the proper question input output parameters and the expected output and the correct code for it okay so if you want to practice for your exam and uh, there are only one or two days left then this material can be very much beneficial for you the links of the, the link of this material is in the description box do check it out count the number of students in each department and display the department name along with the count okay so see there is every student that is belonging to some department okay now there can be a scenario where there are department department that is existing but there is no student aligned to that department that is that department contains zero number of student that is also a possibility so while writing the query you should consider the edge case also on which your test case can fail count the number of student in each department and display the department name along with the count if the count is zero you should display count as zero so now see in this case we will be using the left join why left join so department left join student there should be a col uh, common column department id and department id in both of these tables and we are doing group by department name because we need to find the count therefore we are doing the group by department name now the question here is why we have used left join here so see what is left join left join means if we are joining two tables using left join then there will be certain common rows between two tables which will be given by this particular condition and there will be rows that will be present in the left table but not in the right table so exactly what i have told you if there are certain students if there are certain departments which do not have any students then if you will do normal join based on this condition those departments will be left out but we require those department as well as well which have this zero uh, students so therefore we have done the left join which will give us the common rows as well as well as the rows as well as the departments which are in the department table and are not and they are not in the student table so that's why we have used the left join and group by as i have already told you since we are requiring count therefore we are using group by here so this was the second query i hope it is clear to you okay so guys this was all for this video please write in the comment section that when is your exam what type of videos you want regarding cognizant preparation i will be happy to make them okay and make sure to join the, uh, the telegram group that i have given in the description box okay this is dedicated for 2025 batch students 
and do hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because every like and subscribe will motivate me to keep on making more such videos. You can check out this playlist for your preparation. Okay, thank you for your uh, thank you for watching this video.